What did you think of CC stuff tonight? Uh, good again. A um, little trouble there in the earlier innings, you know, putting some guys away with two strikes, but I thought he was doing a really good job of getting to two strikes. And, you know, I thought they made it hard on him. Which, which kind of make him made him work hard for you know for pitching a shutout basically for the whole time he was in there, um, you know I, th I thought credit to them having some tough at bats and extending some at bats to drive his pitch count up to make him work hard. But overall, I thought he was really good again. Um, the stuff was there, um, you know the slider was a really really effective pitch, especially you know most teams we go up to. Uh, up against it's it's mostly right-handers against them today there was a fair amount of lefties in there and I thought he was uh, I thought he was really tough on him in the fourth inning he recorded his 1500th strikeout as a Yankee what does that say about his career here in he's New York? been he's been uh, you know everything I think you could have could have hoped for when the Yankees went out and to sign an ace to their staff um, you know, he's meant so much to this organization. He continues now deep into his career to continue to be an impact guy. And obviously, just what he means to our team as a leader in that room, um, just just another pretty cool accomplishment for what's been an amazing career. The crowd gave him a nice applause. Yeah. It almost seemed like he didn't really know what was going on. Were you aware that he was that close to that number? And do you know if he was aware? I was aware, and but I didn't realize it when it happened because you're kind of just caught up in the game, and then it flashed up. I'm like, oh, yeah. Um, but, you know, CeCe's, <laughs> you know, for being a superstar and everything, he's so not into himself and those kind of things, really. So, um, But it was nice to see him toss it off and another nice little keepsake for him that he can put somewhere cool. Who else? Anthony. Seem to have kind of an adventurous man, a night on the mound, fielding wise. Do you, yeah. do you get a little nervous when he's putting the hand up or when he's chasing after <laughs> dribblers down the line? Um, yeah, when when he's got to get off the mound and um, that one play he made, yeah, you're holding your breath the whole way. But you know, it kind of shows you his athleticism too. When he does have to occasionally go make those plays, still. It was a good play he made coming off the mound. And, you know, Roe was laughing because he's like, I, I couldn't get there. I wasn't getting there. It was on you, big man. And uh, it was a nice play and important one to, to end the inning there. Had a little pose for you, too, at the end of it. It was good. George. Didi was, was hitting the ball better the last 40 so at bats. But yeah. what, does sh what does tonight show you? What does what? What does tonight show you? <clears throat> yeah. I actually said something to Marcus in batting practice. I, I just thought it seemed even crisper. You know, I feel like the same thing. The last couple of weeks, you know, I feel like he's he got through, you know, that tough stretch for him, whereas a few weeks where he was really scuffling and um, but certainly not locked into the point like he was earlier. And I thought today, I thought he had a really good batting practice. I thought a ball was really jumping off his bat. And... Um, I think when Didi's at his best, he really, he really is. The way I would say it is, he's into the ground. He, he's his feet really drive into the ground, and especially on that second one, you know, you you see his back leg just kind of rotate, but he's strong into the ground in a real powerful position, and you know, hit a no doubter. So good to see him really impact it and and made some really 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 good plays in the field which which is huge in a low scoring game obviously and and where we we're ultimately able to finish off a shutout Susan did you have a hand Ron <clears throat> for Didi what did you see that went with his swing in May that wasn't there in April and isn't now I don't know you know I I think there was a little a level of a little unlucky I thought he was still barreling up some balls but not quite impacting them like certainly like he was in April and you know I, I don't know if I'll ever have a month like April where he was just homer after homer and big you know that was a special month that he put together um you know and I felt like you know at times there where he when he was scuffling you know you you get in that chase and hits a little bit and because he's so good hand eye at 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 touching the ball you know sometimes he was putting balls in play maybe that he shouldn't have been putting in play and um so i think it's more just and, and for every hitter just getting into that strong position over time and when you do that 
that puts you in a position to impact mistake pitches, and he was able to do that tonight. Dan. Uh, Brandon Drury is at uh, first base tonight in Scranton. Do you foresee a way of it, him being able to use his versatility to maybe figure out a way to get back up here since he's blocked now at third base and right. other positions? Uh, it can it can definitely help, you know, and, and you know, versatility has been something that's um, been something Brandon's done throughout his career, obviously playing a lot of second the last couple of years. So, you know, I think adding um, some versatility to his game certainly, uh, yeah, puts him in a better position to be able to help our club again at some point.